Good morning, Mike. It's Wednesday. About a month ago, you made a video about the year for change, and I meant to reply to it, but some things got in the way, and I never got around to it. So this video is long overdue. Video is, dude. What are you doing here? I'm making a video. What does it look like I'm doing? We don't even do videos on Wednesdays. Well, we're making this one. So shut up and sit down. Dude, I already told you, there's only so much gangster that the world, world can handle from you, but there's plenty of gangster that the world can handle from me. You're stupid. Nah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you tell us why we're here today, Michael? You're the one who- I found you <laughs> in my house! What are you talking about? I'm the one that barged in on you, don't you remember? Uh, well, okay. Let's have a flashback. The express already? Did you- I know you're trying to be funny and it's not working. What are you doing here? Give it up. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Alright, so if we're gonna do this video, let's make it count for something. What do you want to talk about? I'd like to talk about the year for change. The year for change it is. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop doing that. <laughs> what say you, uh, we keep this short and sweet and get right to it? Who wants to go first? on the categories, and the categories being A. 10. 10. <laughs> what? A. What? <laughs> Stop laughing! This is my serious face. Do casual! <laughs> None of this All is right. making the video, you know that, right? right? None of this is making the video. No. A. Things you dislike about yourself. B, <laughs> things you like about the other person, meaning like what I like about him, he likes about me. And C, things we like about ourselves. Now, bear in mind, this is really just kind of like a exercise, stupid little project video that him and I are doing for him and I. And hopefully you guys find some entertainment out of it. I don't know why we're, I don't know why the camera's here, but it's just here, so we're working with it. I'm Will you stop laughing? You want the coin toss, you go first. This is a hard category for me because it, it spans a very large portion of me. How do I put this? Like, I, I dislike a lot of the ways my brain works. Like, I wish that I were good at math to any extent, really. I wish that I were better at science and, like, b basically all of the categories of that are being taught other than history <laughs> because mm -hmm. nothing comes good to me except for history. Sort of just wish I was smarter in general because I'm not a very smart person. <laughs> More than disliking my own writing, I dislike the fact that I dislike it. I hate not enjoying a single word I've ever written. Yeah, that's how Joffrey works. And if you don't know who Joffrey is, look back in our videos and you will see my video on Joffrey. What about you? As far as things I dislike about myself, how not my brain works, but more rather how it doesn't work. <laughs> Cause like I've never been good with anything with numbers. I've never been good at really most of school. <laughs> I'm not a very intelligent person. I, I'd like to think that I'm pretty smart, but I'm not as learned as I would like to be. But I don't think I'll ever be as well read as I would like to be. Well, that's the goal, right? I guess that's true. That's the whole point. I don't like the way I see myself um, just as a whole, as a person. My personality, my body, my brain, I don't like it. Just like you, I don't like the fact that I don't like things about myself, which is what kind of inspired the year for change. Yeah. We both reached a point in our life where we gave Joffrey far too much power. Basically, the point of this year is for us to take the power away from him. B. Something that you like about me. Would you like to start since I started the last one? Sure. Well, first of all, I have to say your writing ability. I'm very, very envious of how you're able to just put words together and come up with something. I think the one thing that I'm most jealous of when it comes to you, what I, one attribute that I wish I had of yours is uh, your ability to see through a project that you conceive. 
one of my biggest flaws is that I'm just lazy, which is one thing I'm going to attempt to change this year. I've already been attempting to change it. You said that you're very envious of my ability to you know, put words together in a way that sounds good. You can put words together in a way that just sounds all musically beautiful and it's like, wow, this is amazing. I've seen you do this. You could just sit down and in the span of 10 minutes, you can think, hmm, I wanna write a song. Write, 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 write. And then you have something that's beautiful. It's amazing. For some weird reason, he needs to put sound <laughs> effects on everything. Like, I need a sound effect for writing. So <laughs> the sound effect for writing is... <laughs> write, 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 write. A couple of days ago, I was watching a video and we were talking about it. And then all of a sudden he went to go mimic me watching the video. And then he used the sound effect for me watching the video is... Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> <laughs> So we've established we're both jealous of each other's writing abilities. Yes. Anyway. And I'm very jealous of your sense of humor. Like you are a very, very funny person and you're also very witty. I have had a couple of people in my life, very, very few, but I've had a couple of people call me witty, but those people are people that have just heard the comebacks I give them are specifically comebacks that I have stolen from you. <laughs> and that is not a joke at all. The only people in my life that I've ever heard call me witty are the people that have heard your jokes through me. And it can be anything at all. It doesn't really matter. Like me, I like my hair. I don't know, God gave me one good feature and that was on top of my head and I'm going to love it until it's gone. I also like how observant I am and analytical. Uh, even though it drives me insane that sometimes I can't stop analyzing different things. So that's like a love-hate relationship I have with that aspect of my brain. Okay, strap in, because this is something that, like, I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> okay. I like the way my brain intakes stories. Lots and lots of people will just... Uh, whether they're reading a story or watching a movie or TV show or whatever... They'll just like read it and they'll be like, oh, okay, that was a good story. But me, I sort of just break down every possible aspect of that story. And I will, even if they didn't really exist within the story originally, I sort of add in motif and themes in the story and this, that, and the other. And I just sort of make any story, I can make the blandest of stories so multi-dimensional in my head mm. and I it really makes for me not being very picky when it comes to TV shows I can enjoy very crappy TV <laughs> to wrap this video up um, what is the one thing out of everything you dislike about yourself whether you mentioned it or not what would you what are you going to try to change about yourself this year the biggest thing I'd like to see good in my own work. I'd really like that. I would like to see good in people because Lord knows and you know I have a very difficult time doing that. I'm not a big fan of the human race <laughs> um, and I will I will describe I will go further into that in a future video of mine but um, I have a struggle and a very big problem with, uh, with the hate that I've allowed to creep into my heart. And I think that that is the one thing, if I could change that by the end of this year or throughout this year and get nothing else accomplished, I'll consider this year a success. Once again, surprise, surprise, we're crunched for time. So we kind of got to go and you got to go home, dude. How did you get here? Um... I don't really know. I just sort of woke up here. So... That's creepy. He's gonna come up and catch you sign off on his next video.